Hey y'all, welcome to the second part of this series for drain lines in mint slope for grading optimization part 202. So part one, which uh, maybe you just watched, is was more on just the concept of drain lines. How do they work? How's that surface going to work? How are they going to work if there's two drain lines side by side, so to speak? How's it going to decide which drain line to go to? What are the overarching concepts? So this second part 202 is going to talk about drain lines and across different zones and how to drain in specific zones versus to multiple zones, uh, ways to override drain lines, things like that. So we're really gonna think about more with more zones with this, with this, uh, with this short video. So three things we're gonna focus on. So manipulating drain lines within zones. So we're gonna look at, you know, maybe set an exclusive drainage. Uh, how do drain lines work when they're outside of the zone, when they're within the zone, uh, things like that. So we're gonna take a look at that. So, and then the next thing, that's a typo there for two, exclusive drainage. What does that do? So what does that do within zones? How does that gonna impact things? And then the last thing we'll take a look at is minimum drain inclination. So what is that gonna, how does that work? Is that gonna, how's that gonna work with my drain lines? Is it gonna work at all with my drain lines? Things like that. So these three things will be the, uh, the focus of this video. So let's jump out and let's go into Civil 3D. And so Civil 3D, I'm just gonna give you an overview of what's been set in Civil 3D and then we'll jump into grading optimization. So fairly simple or it's always, it's always said it's simple and then you dig into it, it isn't, but fairly simple. Uh, surface so we have our grading limit GL uh, no min drain slope no max slope so that means it's just a region that we're grading within and there's no overarching parameters defined then we have two zones here max slope at 10 no drain slope set yet and then we have another zone here max slope of 5 no drain slope set there either and then you can see drain line 1 drain line 2 and then Here's one drain line two, drain line three, drain line four, right here. So, all right, let's get into grading optimization. So, in grading optimization, in grading optimization, we have same thing we just had in Civil 3D here. So, let's go ahead and first thing, and we don't even need to run this. You can just hit the reset button, and, and you'll see the hydrology is on how it's starting. So, first thing here, let's go ahead and let's set only one drain line active and let's turn the other ones off okay so we just have this outside gl active this one that's on that far left side so let's go ahead and reset and well, the first thing you notice even if you hit play here is that you know there's no hydrology within the triangles there's no arrows pointing within and if we hover over one of the triangles we can see that the min drain slope is set to zero for that zone so we need to give it a number so let's stop it and let's go to our zones right here and let's set our min drain slope to one percent for both okay with this reset button and now you can see that our drain now we have arrows within our drain slope so you can see that everything is draining even if, even though it's outside of the grading limit with this outside gl that it's all pointing in that direction. So there's one drain line active, the min drain slope's up to 1% for both zones, and we're draining towards that one drain line. You'll also notice too that with outside the grading limit, let's see if we could turn that on, that we don't have our, let's see, you got to show, ah, it's on. We'll move on from that. But the, since there's no nothing set within the grading limit, it's only the zones that have the drainage within them. So, Okay, so first thing, the you need to have a min drain slope set, and the drain line can be anywhere in the drawing. It doesn't have to be within the grading limit, it doesn't have to be within the zone. It will just find the nearest drain line to it and then point, angle the geometry, the surface triangulation towards it. So now, same thing, let's, let's go ahead and let's turn outside grading limit off and let's just turn inside grading limit on. So that's gonna be this line right here okay so it's reset and you can see we are now angling towards that drain line as well and then same thing with this one so let's turn this one off 
Then let's go within within 10. So that's going to be this one right here. We'll reset. And now you can see our arrows are now pointing towards that drain line. So, and then if we were to turn both these on, like I did in the previous video, and reset, we're going to see them, it's going to divide it. So reset. Now we see arrows pointing over there. So now let's say we wanted to have an exclusive drainage. We want to focus on the draining within that specific zone. So let's go ahead and turn both these off and let's turn the outside grading limit on. That one on the far outside here. Oh, not you. This one right here. This one way over here. Okay. So, and then let's set exclusive drainage on right here for each zone. So what that says is if selected, the zone only considers the drain elements that are inside the zone. So, and then for this zone right here, we're going to set it to exclusive drainage and we're going to reset. So what, since we have only the drain line that's outside of the zones on, we're not going to see any drainage in either of those zones because there's nothing within it. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and confirm that. So you can see that there is no drain lines within either of those zones because each of them is set to exclusive drainage. So that means because there's no drain lines within the zone that it's not going to do any draining, so to speak, because it can't find anywhere to point towards. So let's go ahead and let's turn off outside uh, grading limit off and let's turn on the two that are within. So right here, this one, turn you on, and this one, turn you on, okay? So now we just have those two on, but we set the exclusive drainage is still on. So let's go ahead and reset. And you can see that the draining is now, within those two elements is now, uh, now works. Now, for example, if you were to turn this one off right here and then reset, we're gonna see half the hydrology go blank because one zone doesn't have a drain line pointing towards. So reset, and then you see the other one just has the drainage within it. So some different ideas to isolate your drainage. So well, you know, so that if it's if you want to just have the drainage within one specific zone, uh, use that exclusive drainage. Now let's say you don't want to have let's say you want to have everything be consistent, like uh, you know what's called a minimum drain inclination. So. Right here, we have exclusive drainage on. And so let's go ahead and turn this min drain inclination on. So it, what this does is it guarantees every triangle on the surface has a min required inclination into, given, into a given slope. So it basically just does a, uh, basically does a global change to the entire zone and makes it all go in one direction. Think of it as like sheet flow in a parking lot. So, Let's, uh, if you turn that on, you can't have exclusive drainage uh, combined with it because we're basically just making a, we're basically making a decision for the entire zone and exclusive drainage doesn't apply to it. So let's, uh, so let's just set it to 25. So it goes zero to 360. So let's set it to 25 and let's reset. And what we're gonna see is this zone right here. Oh, that's all right. It's going to now have arrows pointing in. And you can see they're all pointing in one consistent direction. So it doesn't even matter that the drain line is active or not. So, for example, within 10, and then if we turn within 10 on and then change that, you can see it doesn't, it, that drain line is not a factor anymore unless there was a zone outside of it that was looking at it. So, say, for example, you didn't have exclusive drainage on on a zone outside of it, it would pull towards that zone because that's the closest possible drain line that it could find a solution for. So summing things up, first thing, drain lines, how they work. Uh, they don't have to be within the zone themselves, doesn't even have to be within the grading limit. The That zone, as long as the exclusive drainage is not enabled, it will find the closest drain line wherever it is. Two, Exclusive drainage, that is just looking at the drain lines within a specific zone. So if you don't have a drain line within that specific zone, exclusive drainage is on, then there's not gonna, then it's not gonna create drainage there. So you need to have a drain line within that zone for exclusive drainage. Third thing, minimum drain inclination, that's just making a global decision for the entire zone that it's gonna be sloping at an angle of 25 degrees, 50 degrees, 180 degrees, 
um, you know, one consistent direction for that minimum slope across that zone. So three things to think about when you're working with those drain lines, and uh, hopefully you find this helpful, and uh, thank you for your time.